Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Well, it's very hot here. It's not at the peak of hotness, but it's not at the peak of coldness either. All right, let me see. Okay, so um, this video is Save Money This Week on Groceries. 10 easy tips. Now, it's nothing nothing earth shattering but if you do this over time it's going to make a big difference okay so in here i have i'm making a latte so i had stockpiled these and so it's one cup um milk shelf stable milk and one package so um I'm having to like just drink these steadily because I bought them all at one time and they're kind of uh, expiring. So I have chocolate milk and so I, I bought this caramel syrup, but you can use coffee creamer, but this should taste good. So uh, I want to use that one tablespoon should do it. Uh, you can add coffee to this if you want. You can add espresso. So, uh, let's see. A moderately priced latte is $2.39. And at McDonald's, the medium is $2.89. So, it would be worth getting the medium just to, uh, you know, get, get only 50 cents more. Oh, today, look what I got. I've known this lady for a long time, and she made me this little bouquet. Isn't it pretty? Uh, I keep it in the refrigerator so it lasts a long time. Okay, so tip number one is eat the leftovers. So you might be thinking, I don't like leftovers. What I usually do is eat my leftovers like lunch. Uh, today, I had a pretty large quantity, half a bacon and cheese bacon and cheese quiche and one of my uh, bell pepper uh, stuffed with coleslaw. Okay, this is starting to boil now. So you can put it in a, a so what all we're trying to do is just get it frothy. You can put it in a mason jar, but you know, that's kind of difficult to do because it's, you know, hot. So um, I'm going to just put it in my blender trying of course not to burn myself really bad so um what i try to do is make enough for that one meal so there isn't any leftovers i'm making just as much just enough for that one meal and then that's it but if there are some leftovers i want to eat them okay Ooh. All right, now let me just blend it for one minute. All I'm trying to do is get it frothy. So see how I have, you know, frothy bubbles on the top. So um, this is going to be a nice little homemade latte for me. Oh, this, the chocolate milk was about 14 cents. And uh, the caramel, I got the caramel topping. Oh, this one turned out really good. Uh, teenagers would love this, you know, instead of spending all that money. Especially if you have two or three of them. Look how look how good this turned out. So um if I don't eat the the leftovers immediately, I put them in the freezer. So 
One of the meals I like is cereal and milk. And here is an example of using a one serving size. So uh, you get six servings. So uh, I bought these really cheap at grocery outlets. So uh, it says add one half cup water. But I like my... And you might be thinking, oh, this Fruity Pebbles stuff isn't good. Yeah, it really is, you guys. So uh, let me start out with a half a cup. Now, this is another thing. If you buy oatmeal with no milk out, you know, that costs a lot. This doesn't. This is like 10 cents. So if you eat two or three of them, so what? They're 30 cents. So, um, if you have, okay, it says 90 minutes, but I'm going to do it one minute. So, if you have meat, especially, that's good leftover. Okay, so save time, save money, eat the leftovers. It's really good if it's like spaghetti or enchiladas or, you know, stuff like that. Number two, don't buy any food until you eat the food in your house, especially if you're like me and you've been stockpiling food. Uh, now is a good time to save as much money as you possibly can by eating it. So, um, a lot of times you go, well, I really need to go to the grocery store but you have more food in your house than you realize. And so you might need your money for something else, like gasoline, like toilet paper. I've been keeping track of the non-foods and the non-foods are pretty expensive. Let's see. Okay, it's not quite ready. It, okay, so it needs about well, it looks like a half a cup was about right. Take a look at this. Um, so a lot of times I eat cereal and milk for breakfast. Okay, number two, number two, don't buy any food until you eat the food you have in your house, especially meat. Um, number three, one, try to have like one regular meal. So I have like a dinner with the quiche and the salad. So my cheap meals, try to have one or two, is a sandwich with a small fruit or veggie. So if I get hungry, I will have maybe a hamburger. Um, soup and crackers, peanut butter sandwich, and cereal and milk. Those are what I usually go for, the second meal. Okay, this looks good. So um, I mentioned to you guys I have this stuff, and uh, what I did is I bought these really cheap at Grocery Outlet. And what I did is I just dusted them to sh with sugar. So you might have thought, wow, that's really awful. But what if you don't have any um, syrup or butter? You know, it could happen. So I have never tried this Fruity Pebbles oatmeal. I will try it. Uh, if you're really broke, one trick is you can uh, put the oatmeal on your spoon and dip it into the milk. I mean, if you don't have very much milk. So let me try this stuff. So one or two cheap meals. That is good. Or, you know, you can just add sugar to regular. Number four, five and seven cans of food to prevent eating out or buying food. So um, at one point I bought this and I think this makes two full size um, pizzas and it's complete. So that is one. Then I have this uh, stir fried rice and you can scramble eggs or you can fry ham and scrambled eggs and put veggies in it or you can just put veggies um these are really good for sides but you can fry um ham or put tuna in these so you guys probably have some of these in the house uh chili 
and beef stew. I stocked up on these when I could find them for $1.25 because who knows how much longer we're going to be able to do that. Uh, tomato soup with crackers. I bought this marked down one time, probably for about a dollar. Um, bean with bacon soup is good. And uh, spaghetti with meatballs is good. So this is a pretty large amount of food. And then I stockpile crackers that I like to eat with soup. So that would be, this would be an example of, of the cheat meals. Or, you know, you can add more meat to them and make them into uh, regular size meals. So this might also give you some good ideas on how to buy food that you can stockpile. So you're not going to go hungry. Also, at one point, I bought these. These are, I don't know if these were yogurt. What are these? Oh yeah, these were yogurt. And then they come with the cereal. But what I do is I eat the cereal. Um, and then usually I would make yogurt with this. Okay. Find seven cans of food to prevent eating out or buying food. A lot of times I eat uh, canned food in my car. Make homemade cakes, cookies, granolas, pancakes, bread, biscuits, and jam. And then I mentioned to you guys, here is my frozen jam. So I'm unlikely to run out of fruit. I, um, this is frozen milk. So when I found a good deal on a gallon of milk and a quart of milk, I just freezed it. I froze it and it's melting and then, you know, I will eat it. Uh, cakes, cookies, granola is expensive, is cheaper to make at home. Make the number of ingredients in your meals low, like uh, tuna and bread, like peanut butter and bread, like egg and bread, like cereal and milk. Seven, freeze food right away, like milk, butter, and fruit. I have frozen mangoes in there, and I bought this big, huge mango, and no way am I gonna eat this, so when I do eat it soon. I also bought a tasty pomegranate this week, too. And now I have some lemons. Okay, so basically freeze everything. Okay, stuff that you might buy, like a latte, a smoothie. Like I got these yogurts really cheap. One yogurt, a cup of milk, and frozen fruit. So if you get yogurts cheap, you can make yogurt or you can make smoothies. Pudding is cheap and jello. Nine is cheap meat, hot dogs. And you can put hot dogs in spaghetti. Bologna, you can make fried uh, bologna sandwiches or bologna and cheese sandwiches, what I usually eat, or bologna, cheese, and crackers. Uh, tuna, tuna casseroles. Pork sausage, I usually have that with eggs. Uh, egg, egg sandwich, and bacon. I have been eating the bacon down. Also, if you have macaroni and cheese, you can mix any kind of, of, of those cheap meats with it. Uh, salads are pretty good with uh, bologna too. Okay, 10 portion size. So you start learning the portion size. Like for meat, you need four or five ounces. And uh, potato is one. Rice is a quarter to a third cup. Uh, one thing I like and you guys have seen me make it, is I make, I boil hot dogs, I make rice, I put milk and sugar on the rice, um, one or two pieces of bread, and then I bought these in an individual size, and I like this with bacon and eggs. That's a good little meal, too. That's a cheap meal, too. Um, and then uh, last month, I think it was, I bought cookies, and what's good about these cookies, you know I'm not eating as many cookies with no tea, so they're individually wrapped. Plus, I'm trying to be a little bit good on my diet. Not super good, but a little bit good. 
Okay, crackers. I bought, you saw, if you get your crackers, these are really, I buy these kind at Dollar Tree and there's several, several kinds, but you know, so you know in here there's six servings. They never make it seven. Okay, donuts. Uh, I get those like a 7-Eleven and then I just freeze them and then grow some food. So I want to show you. So um, here is, you just put this in water. See how it's already started? And it's right here. The next thing you know, you have some celery that you didn't have to pay for. Um, cherry tomatoes. So even if you can just grow a little bit of food, I told you this week I had the rotten tomatoes until I went to Trader Joe's. Romaine lettuce, you would grow that just like the, the celery. Mint is growing good and green onions. You just stick the, the part with the roots and dirt. And next thing you know, I will show you. Okay, today I wanted to work on giving myself a fake tan. Here's my, so red is trending and so is burnt orange. So I bought last week three blouses for $3 and then I bought five blouses for uh, $3. But I have several red bracelets because I was miserable uh, with red, red and black. So um, I was in this grocery, no, it was brands overstock. And I said to the girl, uh, you know, they have discount um, makeup. I want to give myself an artificial tan. This is pretty good, actually. And so the color of this is, um, uh, where is the color? Uh, now, I just had it. Uh, it is a uh, natural tan and see how dark it looks but it, I thought I'll try it putting it on light and it gives me a little bit of color and then I asked the girl to recommend a lip liner so you know instead of like looking to see what older women do ask younger women for assistance <laughs> actually and I think I look much better and so, you know, I thought red is out, but I had these, these are my best uh, quality sunglasses. I had these for several years. And then last year I actually bought these red sunglasses. And then today there's a, um, it's like floor model jewelry and accessories. And so these are really nice, $5. I said, I'll take those. So. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow, and God bless you all.